Hello, hello, hello. Today, a bit strange of an intro. Nothing much to say, but today we're gonna remove the front bumper, rear bumper, stuff from the motor, and maybe radiator, some coolant stuff, reservoirs, and stuff like that. Yeah, let, let's just jump right in there and see how it goes. Also wanted to say big thanks to everyone for stopping by and leaving a lot of likes. Seven likes for me, that's huge. Thumbs up for you guys. And also, hello everyone who's new here. Consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing. The uh, Well, basically if you like the idea what I'm doing, but mm, because there are people who does it better than me. <laughs> let's be honest. And yeah, let's proceed. So let's try to remove the front bumper. It's held in by two screws, French screws on either side, both sides. Got my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> be, be smart about what you do. <laughs> okay, and I have the wrong head on. God damn. <laughs> so attempt two with the right head. Let's try with that. So. Nice, one down. Just hope it doesn't fall on me. No, I'm scared. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just send it. So done. Let's go to the second. Second side, same the other side, two of them. And I think I just broke it. Oh no, not yet. Thank God. I thought I broke it. And both of them are out. So it's, it's stuck in place. And it's up. I guess I had these extensions to hold it in place. Cool. Yay, one thing down. I guess let's move on to the rear end of the car. So rear bumper, let's remove these tail lights quickly. Just to get them out of the way. Mm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Everything is safe in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna snip them all. Figure it out later. Let's do the second one. Pump it. It's up. So the rear bumper, I think it's from the outside, it's held in by one, two, two there, uh, and four of these. Let's remove it and find out. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> this one didn't. So they're on, they're on 12 millimeter head. So much easier when you're using a compressor. Again, one, 
they do break one, didn't they? Saved me a lot of time. Two more screws that's holding them in place on 19 millimeter heads. One here, one here, and the same on the other side. So yeah, it was held in by four screws. Now we should be able to just pull it off. And of course we're not able to. Uh, uh, uh. One second, I need a, there's a clip in there that's holding it in place. The rest of them are gone. So it's off. And the bumper is off. This is where my electricity was supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> I lost it somewhere. Oh well. So let's remove some parts from the inside of the engine bay. Let's start with the coolant overflow reservoir, whatever it's called. It's held in by 10 millimeter heads, one here, one here, one there. Then we'll move on to the windscreen fluid, washer fluid. It's held in from the inside where all the relays are. We'll look at them a bit later. But one screw here and one screw there. Also you need to take off the two motors, one for the front windscreen and the second one is for the rear. And third thing, we're gonna try to remove this air filter reservoir with this whole tube there. Just so we can get more room here. Because we need to take off also the radiator uh, extra oil cooling radiator. So we removed the excess reservoir for the coolant system, no problems there. Here we also disconnected two motors, front and rear. And we had to like take apart some of the relays for everything, in case anyone's wondering what is what. Yeah, just switch it around, I guess. Well, yeah, needed to get that to get to the last screw that was right there. Okay, let's see what we can do about the air filter. So, just for reference, when I'm putting this back together, we have 
this reddish wire going to the turbo this one is broken this one goes down to there got that air filter off I won't open it up don't need to yeah basically it was just one wiring and the only thing that held it in place with this small tube air tube that went down here I showed it previously so they have now have a lot of room basically most of the most of the stuff is out if I manage to get the radiator out then then we made a lot of progress I must say Yeah, let's work on this one. We need to flush the coolant out. That's usually done from inside here. I don't know if you can see this. Or oh, this one. The small little this. You just need to turn it around and just undo the screw and then it's just gonna drain out downwards. I'm just gonna put a bucket and hope for the best. <laughs> Let's try that. So the radiator itself, it's held in by 10 millimeter screws, one here, one here, and then it just clips into place downwards we're gonna pull it out firstly I want to remove the coolant tubing from actually I don't want to remove it from the engine just in case anything gets in there I'm gonna remove it here in the middle and way over there down there just so I can have my thermo sensor in there that controls the radiators okay let's see how that goes because I see wiring wiring going everywhere and I don't remember how to remove it let's see Okay, so after clearing space for the wiring, removing this that also was held in by this brown wire from the wiring harness, I managed to clear room for both of the coolant tubes. Also, yeah, this isn't a stock uh, cooling system usually they have this big propeller thing from the comes out from the engine we, I have mine made so this is more efficient believe me it does its job very well so I decided to track the wire so we ended up on this relay let's remove it disconnected and then we can remove the whole system without losing anything
radiator is out and now we have a lot of space in here. I managed to take it out with all the ventilators and stuff without removing anything. Now I'm just gonna remove the relay connected and also this tube just so just so when I need to put it back together I already have the most of the bulk things together and I'll need to figure out all the tubing. So we are finished for today. Did a lot of good things. Removed bumper together with my brother, front and rear. Then I removed the radiator with all the wiring and stuff. Oh, the windshield and cooling reservoirs, air filter. And that gave us a lot of stuff, a lot of free space. As you can see. Basically for me to remove the engine now would be remove the coolant coolant tubes from everywhere and oil system and fuel system yeah still need to remove gas tank and I can start thinking about either removing the engine or removing this body that's most likely gonna happen I think I'm gonna remove the body and then then worry about the engine because it's gonna be much easier that way and then the big question will be answered do I use my own frame or do I use the one that's sitting right there not sure still so yeah oh yeah also the winch is going to go in the next episode also a lot of stuff a lot of promises for the next episode Let's see how much I can do. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing if you did that, if not, also cool. Just enjoy, enjoy the content if you do. If you do, please leave a like. Yeah, a little bit work done on the rear side of the car also. Progress is being made, no bumper anymore. A lot of messy wiring and stuff. I don't worry about that. Not much to worry. Thanks for stopping by and see you in the next episode. Bye.